Now, with all that being said, what are some advantages of traditional cardio? Okay, this has been around for centuries, and this is still valid today as well. So if you could, if you guys think we're just burning, burning more calories in less time, and burning calories throughout the day is going to be uh, advantage, and if you just stick, stick to only this, then you guys are wrong. As again, I have mentioned all the cons of this as well. Now, but what are the pros of uh, of a traditional cardio? Again, moderation and consistency shows you results. Okay, on this one, so you know it's it's easy to perform. While this can be, while on this one you can get pretty creative, this one is easy to perform. Okay. All right, guys. Welcome to my part two of. Uh, Workout high intensity interval training cardio uh, and traditional cardio. Due to the lack of time, I had to stop with the cons of um, cons of uh, high intensity interval training, and I did some of the traditional cardio. But on this video, I am going to show you guys, um, share with you guys the pros and cons of traditional cardio. Now, first of all, uh, as I said in the earlier video. Moderation and consistency shows results. It's easy to execute, you know, it's easier to go to a gym every day, you know, you don't have to, you know, kill yourself at the gym. You could be only working 60-75%, you'll be only doing treadmill, you can do that these days, watching TV and stuff. So it's easy, it, you can be consistent with it, you know. Uh, there are decreased chance of injuries if you're using, you know, elliptical especially or stationary bikes, you know, less chances of injury. It's pretty common sense. I don't have to explain this a lot to you. This is for beginners. Complete beginners can perform it safely. Why? Again, simple reason. It's the only machine you can stop at any, any time, you know, when you're doing elliptical for 45 minutes. If you don't feel like it, if you don't do it, it the machine stops by itself, you know. You won't get injured. Uh, there's some chance of injury, but compared to this, absolutely very less. Um, best for seniors and people with high body weight. Again, when you do ellipticals or slow intensity cardio, you know, if you're walking on the incline and stuff, you know, it's not that damaging on your knees as it would be if you were doing a high intensity cardio. It's easy to learn. Actually, there's nothing much to learn when you are just doing high intensity interval cardio. Anybody that knows to walk, can do this. It's it's pretty easy, and it's perfect for somebody like me that is that trains weight as well and does prefers to do the cardio after the weight training session. So I would train weights first for about an hour and a half, two hours, or whatever it takes, and then I just jump onto the treadmill, put it on the incline, and 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 walk with it for about twenty minutes. After that, uh, I don't go for forty to sixty minutes. I only do it when I am doing just the cardio itself. You know, and I don't feel like doing a high intensity interval training, so you just have to kind of mix and match. Now, what are the cons of this kind of training? It burns less calories in more time. Okay, so again, going coming back to this thing again, you burn on forty to sixty minutes. That you burn about again four hundred calories in the same amount of time. Now people, a lot of people will tell you, you know, you'll be burning, uh, say, um, I mean, you'll be used burning much more of the calories from fat, so about 70 to 80% from fat, okay? 400 calories, it burns 400 calories, um, from um, from fat, uh, 400 calories out of it, 70 to 80 percent of calories is from fat, which is I, I would say about 320 calories. Now you burn 320 calories in about in uh, 40 minutes to an hour. Okay, if you had done 40 minutes to an hour of high intensity, you will be burning about 400 calories. So proportionally, you are burning a lot more calories than this. Okay, one and again, this is one of the most advantage of this. If you have time and if you can work out a lot, you can burn a lot more calories. Even though if you have to spend a lot more time compared to this one, you will be out of the gas within like about twenty twenty five minutes. You'll be burning less calories in. Uh, you, I'm sorry. You'll be in this. 
uh, and at IIT you'll be burning more calories in less time over here less calories in more time but if you are if you have more time then you can spend you can um, spend uh, you can I mean um, burn up more calories on uh, low intensity cardio as well and again I think I have gone uh, with the advantages and then all the advantages and then it's going to be about the cons again uh, again burning less calories in more time uh, again decrease EPOC the post workout uh, oxygen consumption is going to be less so you'll be you'll not be burning that much calories as compared to the other one uh, you can get bored easily sometimes you know uh, you'll look at doing the same thing again and again <clears throat> Equipments needed are going to be treadmill, elliptical, you know, fancy stuff. If you can't afford it, if you don't have it at home, gym is too far or anything, you know, this you'll not be able to do it. Now, people will say you can run or walk in the park and stuff. Yeah, you can do it. But if you're like over here when it's raining at one point and if it's really sunny at the other and stuff like that, you know, it's kind of hard. Uh... Plus, you can work your entire body. I've mentioned it on a previous video. This one can. Uh, <coughs> you know, you most of the equipment is going to be treadmill, elliptical. Most of them will work on your legs, not so much off from your hands and back and stuff like that. This one you can get pretty creative. You can put lots of stuff. Uh, however, when compared to both of it, you know, there are some chances that people might get more attracted to this one. But you have to make sure that you are able to pr execute the exercise properly. And if you are not able to do it, make sure you stick on this one and learn the proper techniques before you graduate to this. Um, I use, personally, I use both of these depending upon how much time I, I have. And if I am, you know, if I just want to get 15-20 minutes of awesome workout and get it done with it and stuff. Um, but mostly I use uh, traditional cardio just because it's safe. You can you can work out after you get weight training, you know, and and stuff like that. So all right, all right, you guys. Um, just remember, both of these things are only the tools that will help you reach your goals. Don't prefer one over the other. It just depends on you know what direction you want to go and you know and stuff like that. So again, both of these are tools. Don't prefer one after or the other. Switch it up. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, I have I stretch it, you know, every once in a while, you know, every week or so. I stretch it in depending upon my workout. And that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you guys comment below if you have any questions. Uh, people that are listening uh, are watching this video, and if you guys think that I have said something wrong, please feel free to uh, comment it and uh, correct me. I would love to learn new stuff from you guys. But whatever you guys do, please do not, you know, post vulgar or adult stuff in the comment section because these are for adults and we are all here to learn. If you guys are not able to do it, please do not watch this video, you know. Uh, all the rubbish comments is going to be deleted right away and, uh, you know, the users might be blocked. This is my YouTube channel and this is how it's going to be. Alright guys, uh, until next time. Um, take care. I am going to post my uh, high intensity interval cardio routine example, so make sure you guys subscribe. Alright, guys, peace out.